Why are you stretching your neck around? This is the consequences of you not listening to me your mother, a girl child should not be seen outside of her father's house all alone at odd hours, because she might end up running into danger with no one to save her from harm. This is why responsible parents train their children to return home before nightfall. Every action we take in this life, has an equal and opposite reaction. Keeping late nights and keeping bad friends exposes a young girl to so many bad things including premature pregnancies like this, and having a baby outside wedlock comes with so much responsibility. I can't allow you to remove the baby, but same time, I won't allow you raise a baby that will ruin your future, because most men will no longer fancy you after finding out you have a baby while still living in your father's house, so I have decided to do this to save you from future shame and sorrow. Anyways, we are almost there. That's the place you will be staying till you put to bed. It's in the outskatch of the city. I will be coming from time to time to see you. The aim of bringing you here is to hide you away from people especially our relatives. Come down with your bags let's go in. Good evening madam. This is my daughter I spoke to you about. She has come to stay in this house till she delivers. You don't have to worry. We are going to take good and perfect care of her in her pregnancy until delivery. She's not the first girl that we took care of in her pregnancy. She's in good hands with us. You have my phone number, please contact me in case of anything else. I will be going because it's almost getting late. Okay. Kate, Mrs. Green will take care of you from now onwards for the time period you will be staying here. Please be a good girl. But mom, is this really necessary? Yes, it's necessary because we need to hide this pregnancy from the world. If you stay at home, it will be difficult for us to achieve that. Don't worry, before you even know it, nine months will come and go then you can return home. Okay mom. I will be going now, take care of yourself, I will be visiting you from time to time. Call me if there is anything you want to tell me. Okay mom, bye. Follow me, I will show you to your room. Okay. This is the room you will be staying in for the time period you will spend with us here. Please make yourself comfortable. There is a toilet over there, if you need anything else, do well to let me know, okay? Thank you, Ma. Just look at me, the almighty Kate, that used to be the happening babe on campus, heavily pregnant, lonely and sad. I feel so bad about my life. If only I listened to my mom and sister, I wouldn't be in this condition. I would have been in school learning, but here am I, expecting a baby. Where is Paul? The one who always persuades me to come to different party bash? The one who made me disobey my family by keeping late nights? The one whom I think is responsible for my condition? He is probably somewhere enjoying his life, and living life to the fullest. I learned my lessons, even though it's already too late to make amends. The damage is already done. I will deliver my baby, afterwards, I pick the piece of my life together and move on. Mom, have you spoken to Kate lately? You know time for her delivery is almost approaching. We need to know how she is faring. Glory, you are correct. I planned on going to visit her tomorrow so I can discuss how her delivery is going to be and other things with them. Mrs. Green, I will be on my way home now, but there are other things I would want to discuss with you. What is it? Kate, you can now go into your room. I will come again in few days because you will soon put to bed according to the doctor that checked you today. So go in and have some rest, okay? Okay mom, bye. Mrs. Green, back to what we were saying, since her delivery is near, I want us to discuss how the delivery is going to be. How do you want it to be? I don't want my daughter to know the gender of her baby, I don't even want her to set her eyes on the child. You have to arrange for a couple that will adopt the baby once he or she is born. Really? If I may ask, why are you really doing this? It will be difficult for her not to set eyes on the baby. I want her to continue her life after she has put to bed. 
I believe if she sees her child, she will be drawn to her or him. I don't want that. I want the baby taken away from her immediately. In fact, I want you to tie her eyes with a cloth so she won't see or know the gender of the baby, then immediately the baby is born, you hand him over to the couple that is adopting him. I hope you will deliver this simple assignment for me without failing. Okay. We will do our best. Call me in case you see any sign she's going into labor. Goodbye. Hmm. This is delicious. I'm enjoying it. My tummy is becoming very hard. What is happening? I think I'm having contractions. Help. Ah. My waist. Kay? What's the matter with you? I heard you screaming. I think the baby is coming. Really? I have to call your mom immediately. I will be back. Ah. I'm in severe pain, nurse. Are you the nurse conducting the delivery? Yes. Any problems? Can I have a word with you outside? Okay. Please, I don't want the girl to see the face of her baby after he is born. It's the instruction from the mother. She's on her way. So I want you to tie her eyes with cloth or anything. Really? Okay, no problems. I will do as you have said. Thank you. The baby is almost here. Push. Push. Thank God for safe delivery. But why did that woman request that I tie her eyes? I suspect something fishy. I can hear the cry of a baby. I can't believe we are finally going to be parents. Oh yes. I hear the cry of a baby coming from the delivery room. I hope nothing goes wrong. I hope so. Mrs. Loveth, here's the baby. It's a baby boy. He is all yours. Take good care of him. Wow. He is so, so cute. Thank you so much for this precious gift. We will be forever grateful to you and your family. Such a handsome boy he is. I'm already falling in love with him. Sweetheart, I can't believe this is real now. Just like that? We got a newborn baby. I'm so happy. Me too. But I wonder why she would give us her daughter's baby without demanding for anything in return from us. It's a bit strange. I hope she won't start looking for us to take back the baby. I suggest we relocate out of this country so we can start a new life as a family away from people who know us. You think so? I guess you have a good point there. We will start making plans to relocate with him as soon as possible. Anyway, the good part is that she doesn't know our address so she won't even be able to trace us. That's true, she doesn't even know us or where we live. Let's then enjoy our bundle of joy. Welcome home, Kate. I have missed you. The house has been so lonely without you here. I'm very glad you are finally back. Come sit. Glory, it feels good to be home. I didn't know time will fly by so quick, but I have learned my lessons the hard way. So how do you feel now? I don't even know how I feel. I wasn't given the opportunity to see my baby to know how he or she even looked like. I didn't even know if it was a boy or girl I had. I feel terrible. It's okay dear, I think mom did all that for your own good. She doesn't want the baby to ruin your life and that's why she did what she did. She's our mother, right? And I believe she knows more than you and I. I guess. Just get yourself back to shape so you can return back to school and finish your education, because that is all that matters at the moment. It's time to go to bed and catch some nice sleep. Good night. Good night. I recognize this voice. Where is that cry coming from? I hear the cry of my baby. Yes. It's the same cry I heard the day he came into the world. I have to find him or her. You. Where did you keep my baby? I want him now. Give me back my baby. 
Somebody help me. She is taking my baby away from me. Why do I always dream about my baby? Who even knows how she or he is doing right now with the person who took him? I hope they are treating her well. I always hear her cry in my head from time to time and I just feel like reaching out to her. Kate? Why are you not sleeping? I heard you making some sounds in your sleep. What's the matter? I keep hearing the cry of my baby. It happens when I sleep or when I'm alone. I don't know what to do. You need to get the baby out of your mind so you can be able to move on with your life. Glory, my sister. It's not as easy as you think. I guess it's difficult to separate a mother and her child because they are spiritually connected. Spiritually connected? What do you mean by that? Never mind. You won't understand. I will study hard for my upcoming exams. I don't want any carryovers because my original set in school have all graduated and I'm still here battling with school and all the problems involved in it. I'm very proud of you. And I know your father will be proud of you too wherever he is now. Thanks, Mom. Your future awaits you. Hello, good day. How may I help you? What do you want? Can I have a bottle of cold water? I'm so thirsty. Okay, I will get it for you. Ruby, how are you doing? Moses, I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great. Let's have a seat over there. There is something very important I want to tell you. Is that so? In that case, let's go grab a seat. So Moses, go ahead. I'm all ears. Ruby, I have known you for some times now, and I have come to the realization that you are the one for me. I love you Ruby, and I would want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please say yes. What? Oh. Marriage proposals? Moses, I have grown so fond of you, and you are such an amazing guy, in fact you're different from other guys I have met. And there is this strong bond and attraction between us that I can't just place my hand on. I need time to think about it then I will give you my reply. That's okay by me, I'm not pressuring you. Just think about it and let me know your answer. Okay. You always do that to me. That's because I am so fond of you. Are you going home now? Yes, why do you ask? Because I want to take you home. Let go then. Good evening, Mom. Ruby, you back? Welcome home. How was school today? It was good. Mom? Where is Dad? Is he back from work? I have something very important I like to talk to him about. What is it? I hope there's no problem with your school. No, Mom, it's not about my school. In fact, maybe I should tell you about it first. Mom, there is this boy that I met some time ago in the town center on my way back to school. At first, I didn't take him serious, but we exchanged phone numbers and we started talking over the phone. Which boy do you talk about? So you've been talking to a boy over the phone in this house? Your father and I didn't send you to school to go follow a man around because they will only ruin your life and future. Mom, you didn't even let me finish with my story. I hope you have not started going to hotels with him or do anything not acceptable by God with him. A girl child who was sent to school to study should focus on her schoolwork when she's in school. Don't let boys distract you because you are in your final year. Mom, nobody is distracting me. Can I at least finish my story, Mom? This is why I wanted to talk to my father first, because it's always impossible to talk to you about things like this. What is wrong with me? Let me give her the chance to speak first. Does it mean you and I can't have this discussion, but you are my mother, and I should be able to talk to you about things like this? I'm sorry I interrupted you. You go ahead and continue your story. So how did you say you met this guy? I met him in the town center on my way back to school some months ago. 
I think it's more than a year now. Okay. So what about him? To cut the long story short, recently, he asked me to marry him. What? What did you just say? Yes, Mom, exactly what you heard. He asked me to marry him. And what was your reply? I haven't said anything yet because I asked him to give me some time to think about it. But Mom, I think I have grown to love him. I can't place my hand on it, because our meeting was very magical. It was like love at first sight. We just connected so fast, like we knew each other before. How do you mean? Yes, Mom, it's true. We have a lot of things in common. Our likes and dislikes, our choices in life and so on. They are just too much. This made me grow more love for him deeper than I ever imagined. I know when you meet him, even you won't have a choice than to just love him. Since he has made his intentions known to me, I want to accept his proposal, because he is everything I prayed for in a man. He understands me more than I understand myself, he is just the man for me. Is that so? Maybe you should invite him over to the house so we meet him, since you said you are deeply in love with him. Yes. Thank you, Mom. You are the best. I love you, Mom. And I love you, too. I'm going inside to change. I will be back. Children of nowadays, always running faster than their shadows. How time flies so quickly. My little girl of yesterday now talking about marriage proposals from a man. If Ruby has become this big, who knows how big that my other child would be. That means my other child would even be bigger than her. I didn't even know if it was a she or he. I always think about her. I never stop thinking about her. Not even for a day. It's as if she lives in my mind. I guess she was never separated from me after all, because a part of me left with her the time they took her away from me. Snap out of this thought, it's not healthy. Hmm. So delicious. Have a taste. I know you would love it. Hmm. Wow! This is good. I knew you would love the snacks too. What's the problem, Moses? You look troubled. Not really a problem, just that I will be traveling back to the States in two weeks, and you haven't given me a reply. Don't you like me enough to be your husband? Don't you think we should take our friendship to the next level? I don't want to lose you, Ruby. You are everything I ever wanted in a woman. Moses, I have been meaning to tell you this. What is it? I accept to be your wife. Are you serious? Yes. Wow! This is the best news ever. Thank you, thank you so much. One more thing. What? My mom has invited you to the house to meet with my family. I will be more than glad to come. Who could it be? Let me go check. Who are you? Good there, ma'am. Oh, I feel dizzy. My name is Moses, Ruby's friend. Oh, really? Welcome. Have a seat. Let me call my husband and other members of my family. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, Moses, what about your parents? They are doing great. They are not in the country at the moment. I only came home to see Ruby and then to one or two things before going back to base. So, you don't stay in this country? No, I don't. Welcome once again to our house, Moses. We are happy to finally meet you. Same here, sir. I'm honored to be here. There is something about that boy that I can't really place my hands on. Immediately I set my eyes on him, I felt this connection, and inner peace, within me. Ruby was right when she said I will like him the moment I see him. He looked well trained and well behaved too. So how did you see my family? Wow! They are so lovable. Especially your dad. I'm happy, I'm going to be a part of them soon. Your mom too. She's such a character as well, I just felt connected to her the moment she opened the door for me, like I have known her all my life. 
You don't know how I feel hearing you say this. Babe, I can't wait for you to be my wife. Welcome home, sweetheart. Good to see you again, my beautiful bride to be. My parents are coming home from the States in two days. They want to finally meet with you and your family. Wow. Yes, they want to see the girl that have stolen their son's heart away. I can't wait to meet them too. So you are Ruby's mother? Yes. Welcome to our house. My husband is not around. We'll tell him you came to our house to see us. Thanks for all the things you bought for us from overseas. We appreciate. Ah. It's nothing. We are going to be in-laws, so we are family now. R Ruby? You look so beautiful in your wedding dress. Thanks for accepting me. I promise to love you forever. And I will love you forever too, sweetheart. Moses, my son? Yes, mother. You are now a married man. Make sure you take good care of your wife especially as you know she is already expecting a baby for us. Grandmother, I'm going to miss you so much now. Cheer up my baby girl. I will miss you more, but I know you are in good hands. Moses your husband is a good man. Who's that woman over there? She looks very familiar, I know her, she's here too. What's she doing here? Oh! She's my mother-in-law. Is she Moses' mother? Yes, Granny. Is there any problems? Is Moses their only child? Yes. I'm finished. How did you know? Did Mom tell you? Or do you know them from somewhere? This is an abomination, this is not right, my sins have finally caught up with me, what have I done to myself and family? Ruby, I will be back. Mrs. Loveth. Oh my goodness. Is this really you? You recognized me, it's really a long time, how have you been? And what are you doing here? It's my granddaughter's wedding. What? Your granddaughter is marrying my son? I'm finished. So, Moses is Kate's son I gave to you years ago, wow. He is very handsome. Mom? What did I hear you say? Moses is my son you gave up years ago. So it was a baby boy I had, and he is Moses. I always wondered what the gender of my baby was. Wait. What? Moses my husband is your son? How? You had another child before I was born. Ruby, you are here. Of course I'm still here. It's my wedding day, right? And I haven't left the venue yet. Answer me mother. You mean to say Moses and I are siblings? Oh I'm finished. I'm pregnant for my own brother, I can't take this shame, this is too much for me to bear. What type of life is this? I can't leave with this shame, I will end it all. It's all your fault, mother. Oh, now it's my fault. Yes. Why did you give away my child to strangers when he was born? What was they need to do that? I already suffered by carry the pregnancy to delivery, so why give him up afterwards? I was trying to secure your future. The future that has been ruined already by your actions. I know I made a mistake by getting pregnant at home, but you don't cover up one sin by committing another bigger sin. I would have still met a man who will accept, love and cherish me despite knowing that I have given birth at home. I would have raised my son myself, instead of allowing him grow up with strangers, now his sister became a stranger to him, and they fell in love with each other simply because they didn't grow up as siblings. Kate. You mean to say you have given birth already before I met you? Yes. And you never bothered to tell me, you kept it to yourself. If you can keep such important thing away from me, your husband, then, who knows what else you are keeping secret from me. After today, I won't be able to trust you. It will be very difficult. Oh, I'm finished. My husband please don't say that. So. 
The people that raised me were not my biological parents, and no one told me about it. This is so painful. No wonder I connected immediately with Ruby and her mother. This is because they are my flesh and blood. Blood is indeed very strong and powerful. So Mrs. Kate is my biological mother. By the way, where is Ruby? I hope she hasn't tried something out of imagination. I have to find her. Let's find her quick. I think she went this direction. Ruby. 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 Over here, Granny. Hurry. This cannot happen. No, no, no. Ruby, please wake up now. I don't want to lose you. Why did you end your life this way? I lost you before our journey as siblings even began. 